So usually when I'm talking about the five scarves, when I come to the last one, which is the fifth one, we'll talk about the other two, uh, three and four later. But when I come to the last one, I usually tell people, I'm not going to tell you. Go read the book and then you'll know. But this time I'm going to tell you. So the last one was actually, um, I, I, I received an email uh, a couple of years ago telling me that I was chosen as one of the most influential female scientists in the Islamic world, which is like 1.7 billion people. So that was kind of an honor and, believe me, a responsibility. But as I was going through the email, they had given a title for each one of us. So there was the cardiologist, the mathematician, and I'm going down to see what did they give me as a title. And lo and behold, they gave me the title of Islamic Feminist. And I said, no, you can't do that because you know, I, I'm not an Islamic feminist. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a scientist. I'm a social entrepreneur, <laughs> mother, teacher, but I, I never uh, intended to be labeled in that way. So they refused to change it. Uh, and the result was that I embarked on a journey of to redefine what that means uh, according to my own terms. You know, many times in life you get labeled with terms and 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 uh, stereotypes and i didn't want that to happen so i kind of reclaimed it and that was the reason i wrote my book it was to to reclaim what that means and today no i am not an islamic feminist i am a human being right who happens to be a muslim and who happens to be a scientist and and who who defends all human rights including women because um they have been uh, uh, disfranchised and treated unjustly for a long time all over the world not in particular in one culture uh, rather than the other. So I invite you to read the book and to learn more about my views on that. But that's just to, back to your point about not being labeled, being a human being, um, uh, and celebrate that.